The millionaire who became famous for infusing his son's plasma into his blood is now microdosing a weight loss drug. Weight loss drugs such as Wagovi and Ozempic mimic the GLP-1 hormone in the body which is responsible for lowering blood sugar levels and making people feel fuller for longer. Microdosing is taking a significantly smaller amount of this drug than the recommended dose. And although microdosing of weight loss medications are not yet approved by the US FDA or any other healthcare authorities, microdosing is on the rise. So what is the appeal of microdosing? For some, the hope is to avoid the side effects of these drugs like nausea and constipation while still shedding pounds. And for others, it is to stop regaining weight. For Brian Johnson, it stems from the many studies and trials that suggest that such GLP-1s have broader health benefits beyond just weight loss. Dozens of studies suggest they cut the risk of a slew of other conditions ranging from heart disease to dementia to substance abuse. However, these were at higher doses, and these are the only strengths that have been studied in large-scale clinical trials. So there's no data to actually suggest that those who microdose will get the same benefit. Despite researchers acknowledging the plausibility of microdosing being helpful in lowering inflammation, many of those who microdose in the US use cheaper off-label alternatives sourced by compounding pharmacies, whose injections are not FDA-approved. But for some, the risk of microdosing Ozempic is worth the reward.